Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Scott coming at you today from the Lion's Den and today we're going to do another test here on my Emberlet stove before I uh, go out for my weekend trek. And I'm going to try something a little different this time. I'm going to go on the scenario that you only got enough wood to fill it up. Uh, even though it might be some larger diameter, you don't really have like a two foot, three foot piece to run through the feeder port over there. So we're going to try this and I'm going to film it and uh, we'll see where it goes. So let me give you a little quick view here. So you can see what I got cut down here. You know, less than finger size. Sorry, I am on my patio, so you're gonna hear some other noise. I've got some that's less than lead size here. And then in the stove itself, you can see I got it fully packed. There's some larger diameter stuff inside. And there's some spacing still, because obviously the shape of it, it does widen out here, so you can only get so much. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a small little fire here on top, put the kindling and stuff, and I'm hoping with what I have there should be more than enough to build a substantial enough fire here so that I can do the uh, what they refer to as the upside down fire or this a top burn you know to burn down just like you would in a gasifier obviously this can work a little different because this is a single wall uh, however I want to see what the longevity is of it and how well it works so we'll get right back with you into it obviously as I said there is gapping in space there so you get a little bit that's going to be rolling out here uh, as it that flame is popping down but it is burning a lot of wood and there's still a lot here at the top so you know in a big open area this should still work pretty decent hopefully that'll come down in a little bit we'll see what happens just picked up obviously okay guys we're 15 minutes into this and although I was just gonna do a straight burn quite frankly I'm home alone I really would like to have some tea, so, you know, what the heck, we might as well make it all out and see what happens. You know, we got a good solid base here and let's brew up some water. We're at 21 minutes and look at those embers, look at those coals. It's just going away nice and beautiful. Kind of had another change. It's kind of raining here and everything. You know, we're hitting a little bit of a cold spell for the 
next two days. So we'll be back up to our 70 degree out here in California by the weekend. But I decided I'm gonna do some coffee instead. And yeah, I know I probably could do better, but since we are here and we're just testing this out, kinda wanna see what I'd be doing while I'm out. So got some of the instant stuff, got some cheapy little hazelnut stuff that I got like the dollar store and mixed it with the uh, Starbucks via Ready Brew caramel. So I'm gonna have some caramel hazelnut. Right here in my GSI. Minimalist mug. Hey guys, I'm sorry this may be a little difficult to see because of lighting, however. Hopefully you can catch that, we are at a rolling boil. So I'm going to make my coffee and enjoy. So definitely could set it up that way, get it all situated. Definitely not a problem on that end. Will work. And look at that. I am actually grabbing it barehanded on the handle. Handle's not even warm. Worked out perfectly on this. Drinking lid on. And just so you can see, there's plenty of workable coal there still. Enormous amount of heat coming off of this guy. I could probably throw a little grill right on this, get right on the cooking. I could probably make a steak hamburger on this right now. Not a problem. Wouldn't even need to add anything else to it. So definitely that is another option to do the uh, top fire or burn down fire, upside down fire on it and I think it would work quite well. Alright guys, thanks for joining me on this one and we'll catch you on the next.